Warning, the following scene is blue and may be harmful to color sensitive viewers. Oh, stress ball. I'm so stressed nowadays. Stupid monitor work. So, but wait a minute. What's this? Oh, my God. Where is it? Doesn't matter. For the sake of your life, and millions more, it is the only thing that matters. I'm dead either way. They're everywhere. Isn't some myth or false flag operation that you can wash away when you get up in the morning. Unlike many problems of this expressionist styled metropolis society, we were not created through the recycled, potent, sickening inability to progress. We were produced through the political tanglings of back and forth debauchery through arguments. We exist because with all the fighting, there was an opening and we took it. Maybe we grew a little too far out of control. We even fear ourselves when no one else knows we exist. There's no real group here, just a crazy revolutionary. Spontaneous order? Maybe. Non-existent? I'm afraid not. And this goes here, and this, uh hmm, yeah. And what if we, hmm, yes, yes. Hey, got to tell somebody, Captain, Captain, Captain. Mm -hmm, yeah, definitely. What, There's what's... something weird on the ship. I don't know what it is. What? What could it be? Well, let's get rolling. You have to tell me where it is, Ryan. You're the only one who can bring it down before it goes too far. Fine. You think my part is big enough to tear down the whole operation? I have no idea where it is. I have no idea what to use it for. I'm just an insignificant little part of it. We don't have time for this! It won't go easy on you, you know. This is treason, what you're doing. And you will get the death penalty. We can help you. We can protect you, but you have to tell us where it is. Dying is a dreamless life, beginning minutes before closure, in this mere pause in eternity. We are so insignificant in general. Our reality runs through loops of impossibilities. The only explanation is that it exists. There's knowledge we can't touch because it's impossible. It involves unbiased nothingness to each us, and we wouldn't get it even then. That's all this movement is, a fraction of a fraction of unbiased nothingness. Hello? 
Is there anybody there? This is Admiral Tucker Heiss. If anybody can receive this message, please respond. Day 19. I'm still stuck on this planet. I've been attacked six nights in a row now. I don't know how much longer I can last. If anybody should find this journal, just let my family know that what happened to me and that I was thinking about them. Captain, what, what is that thing? I have no idea. Wait, you don't know what it is? Nope. Hell, then I'm out of here, man. Alright, it looks like I'm going to have to take care of this problem myself. <laughs> Don't you dare mock me! I would ask the same of you, but your words are meant to mock me. To brag that you've captured me and placed me in this inescapable corner. Listen, you can keep ranting and raving about your fractions of nothingness and your theories on death, but you're gonna find out that there are way worse things than insignificance, and everybody has their limit. Your silence is only a mere inconvenience. We do have time to wait. What are you gonna do? Brainwash me? Lie detector? Maybe something a bit more advanced? Memory downloads? Artificial drowning? No, I don't think so, Ryan. Technology just doesn't have the same feel to it. Hey, I got it. Indecision is the key to flexibility. Oh, nice. 